Today we are going to be learning the art of being unbothered and how to be selfish but in the good kind of way. Today's video is in partnership with Belief and today I'm going to be doing a couple things. I'm going to be doing my makeup, I'm going to be talking about how I became selfish and how it has really catapulted my life, my personal life, my business, anything like that. And I really think this is going to help a lot of you guys out who have been struggling with being so selfless that you kind of forgot about yourself. I know a lot of us have forgotten about ourselves during quarantine. Quarantine, we were not upkeeping with our looks. We were not, you know, taking good care of ourselves. We were not financially being as good as we probably could be. And I personally think that what I have to share with you guys today maybe will help a few of you out if you guys are struggling with these things. So just hang out with me today. A lot of you guys have been asking for a makeup tutorial. Please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to like these videos for me and follow me on Instagram. All right, guys, let's get into this tutorial. All right, let's get into a beat face. Like I said before, this video is in partnership with Belief, and I am using the True Cream Moisturizing Balm, and what I love about this particular product is that it's allowing my skin to really transition into the fall months without being dry. I find that it really helps with uneven texture, especially when I'm doing a beat face. I hate when I have patchy, really textured, ugly makeup. So using this particular product is just going to really help me, I don't know, have a nice, even skin tone. Absolutely have been loving Belief's products. I reach for them the most. And what's really great about this partnership is that I am here to promote their Moisture Festival, amazing holiday gift set. It's literally the price of one of these moisturizing bombs and it comes with many other things like a toner, like the makeup remover. It's an amazing gift to get somebody for Christmas if you are working on a budget. It has everything somebody needs for their skincare that is just easy and simple, but also allows your skin to just really look beautiful and luxurious. I have been loving Belief. It's one of my favorite brands ever. And I love to just start off with a clean canvas using that product. Cannot forget your neck. Everything that I use on my face will be listed down below. I just really wanna focus the most on our topic today. So anything that I use, it will be listed in the description box below. So today we are going to talk about the art of being selfish, the good kind of selfish, if you know what I mean. I personally think that being selfish is a good thing. And obviously it has a negative connotation to it. A lot of people don't like the word selfish. They think it means something that is just bad and hurtful to others, but it doesn't have to be. It literally could just be about you wanting to improve yourself and just wanting to step out and do things that you've always wanted to do without, you know, worrying too much about what other people think. Based off what a lot of you guys have told me about yourselves is that there have been a lot of parts of your life where you really lost who you are, whether it was in a relationship, a job. Honestly, we have all been there. I know for me, I wasn't always selfish. I had a very selfless way of doing things and not in the good way. Like sometimes it's good to be selfless and think of other people, but when it comes to a point where you are no longer doing anything for yourself, it's a problem. So I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about the things that you need to be more selfish with and kind of how to do it. Because as somebody who finds it difficult to do, and I actually struggled with it for a while, I think that I have a lot to give on this subject. So let's first talk about our looks because this is something that we all, whether we're a male or a female, really care about. And there was a point in time in all of our lives where we really, really cared about our looks. I would say for me, it was when I was in high school. Like I found that I was extremely insecure and for some reason that like snowballed into me wanting to just be someone who just never looked out of place. I don't think I ever wore sweats to school, maybe like once or twice, but I genuinely like always dressed up for school. And I think it was partially because I didn't ever want to look bad. Um, a lot of me wanted to attract something, whether it was a man, friends, it doesn't matter. Like I was always like that. And when I met my current boyfriend now, I actually met him when I was a senior in high school. I actually lost myself a lot, um, probably two years into our relationship because I was so happy in our relationship that I forgot so much about myself. And by that, I mean my looks. I didn't take care of my body, my health. I was gaining a lot of weight. And you know how they say like, it's like the happy weight. We were well past that stage at that point. Like I was, you know, two years in. 
the happy weight needs to go now. You know what I mean? So when I was younger, prior to meeting my boyfriend now, I actually had a couple boyfriends and a lot of the boyfriends that I dated were extremely insecure. And I'll get into that later, but pretty much to sum up this point is that you need to take more time out to do things that you genuinely want to do when it comes to your self care, your hygiene, your looks. Us women, we always want to feel beautiful. Like it definitely uh, inspires us. I know for me, I get extremely inspired when I feel my best, when I look my best, when I look at other women who inspire me that make me want to do things. I would have never wanted to like do anything if I didn't see somebody else doing it and it like looked amazing. Like I would have never known that wigs would be so fly if I didn't see other women rocking wigs and them looking just so gorgeous. Like I genuinely sometimes need to be catapulted into doing things that make me feel better. So it's really important that you do put yourself first. You have to do things self-care wise, even if it feels like, oh, I don't need that this week. Like whether it's like getting a pedicure or getting your nails done, getting your hair done, and you feel like I can't map out an hour because I have to do something for someone else. No, honey, you have to take care of yourself first. You have to put yourself first because if you're not feeling good, you're not doing good, then how could anybody else benefit from you? You know what I mean? Like you wanna be there for everyone else, but you cannot show up for other people if you can't show up for yourself. And I definitely think that there is this stigma behind women who really, really, really take care of themselves, whether it's being like extra bougie, really like, you know, like looking expensive. A lot of the times people will think that they're like super selfish and rude and mean, and it's just not true. Like us women, we wanna feel our best. And I know for me, like I'm nowhere near where I wanna be looks wise. And sometimes I feel bad for saying that cause like I am super confident, but I want to just be better. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? and never date a man who has a problem with you taking care of your looks. There is nothing I hate more than somebody who's trying to cover you up or change who you are, whether it's you being just you. Like I once maybe was called materialistic or somebody who cared too much about vanity, but then in other relationships, it wasn't like that at all. Never date a guy who has a problem with you taking care of your looks. It's important that we upkeep ourselves. And I promise you there's people out there who will support you when you're selfish and you take care of yourself because it is an attractive quality to be someone who cares. Like I wanna be with somebody who cares. Like, you know, there's always like those men out there that go, oh, I don't want a girl who wears makeup, but they're always dating and going after women who wear makeup. Honestly, do things for yourself is pretty much what I'm trying to say here. Do things for yourself and be just more like interested in taking care of yourself. And it's fun. After a while, it starts to feel fun. Like I didn't grow up in a house where like, it was like something that was looked at as very important. It was something that like, okay, you should be pretty, but like, it was never like, take it to the next step and get your makeup done, do your hair, get your nails done. Like it was never stress in my home. So I had to learn these things for myself. And when I did, I realized like, oh, this is really important important and I probably should do it more. And now that I do, I feel better and it actually makes me a lot more hardworking because when you look good, you feel good and when you feel good, you do good. All right, I'm gonna use this new Dior Backstage Palette because I've been wanting to give it a try. So let's talk about money and being selfish with your coin. And honestly, this is like a fun topic for me because I know, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this, but like I was raised to be like super frugal and only spend money on things you need and I follow that to a T okay like I was that girl who I just didn't really spend a lot of money on myself personally but one day I took a second look and I was like um girl like you literally have no money so I would go through like my account to see like what I spent my money on and I'll spend it on like food unnecessary things that don't mean anything and nothing that even gets me anywhere in life if I spent it more on personal things personal things they end up transcending into positive things Things that maybe have to do with your business or your life or your relationships like spending money on personal things is important as long as you know which ones to spend them on so i realized very very soon after that i was still spending money i just wasn't spending money on things that meant anything and i think it's important to be selfish with your money to spend money on things that you want as well as things that you need if you want to get yourself a nice new car do it if you want to get yourself stuff for your business do it honestly literally anything could be made into a business. Me getting my hair done, buying wigs, makeup. I bought a bunch of makeup today that I'm trying out. It all can translate into money, okay? 
like anything can and I'm not saying like everything's about money I'm just saying everything can be about improvement in some way so for me like what I always needed to improve on the most was financial stuff like I already had relationships down I already had friendships down I had that down what I was really lacking in was things that had to do with my financial status things that had to do with my business taking it more seriously it was so hard for me to focus on anything that had to do with business like it was just so difficult I don't know why don't let anybody detour you from doing things financially for yourself I was once in relationships with people who did not want to see me gain financially or just in general in life I don't know if it had to do with money I think it was just more so about I don't want to see someone that I'm with self-improve because at the end of the day people are jealous of you they don't want you to do better than them so you have to really tune that out and be selfish sometimes and there are people in your life who you can make exceptions for there are people who you know like you can tell genuinely love you genuinely care about you and you can always hear out an opinion nobody said don't hear out an opinion it's just don't don't take it with you in life that much I feel like too many women have really allowed themselves to be stifled when it comes to finances, spending them on themselves, taking good care of themselves because of a man telling them that they can't. And I really think it's important for you to remove yourself from a relationship like that. You should never feel bad or feel like you're hurting someone else if you financially have the money to do it, to do things for yourself, okay? Like you are important, your mental health is important, taking care of yourself is important. Nobody should be telling you what to do with your money, how to spend it, you just don't want someone in your life who doesn't allow you to be your authentic self. If you are a bougie person, you like to spend money, you like to earn, you know, a living and you want to be able to support yourself in a way that helps you financially or emotionally or physically, it doesn't matter what it is, then you should be allowed to do that without somebody like kind of like getting in the way of that. Think about how much further you would be if you just took like, I don't know, 20 minutes a day. And that's like really a little amount, but like 20 minutes a day towards yourself, just yourself and yourself only. You'd be really far. I didn't realize how much time I was spending focusing on other people. I love my boyfriend to death, but I was spending way too much time focused on him like for the beginning of a relationship and it didn't help me and it didn't help him. And it's okay to change now. It's okay to change now. If you feel like somebody's gonna judge you because you're gonna all of a sudden switch up on them overnight, oh well, we change. I know anybody that I knew prior to 2019, I barely know them anymore. So like, if they say they know me, I don't know you. If I haven't talked to you since 2019, I don't know who you are. And that's not even me just being like shady. I'm just, I'm being real. Who I am today is not even who I was last year. So if you didn't know me today, you don't know me at all. And that kind of transcends into the art of like being unbothered as well. Like selfishness is great and it means that you're focusing on yourself, but being unbothered is even better because you can't be bothered with other people's problems, other people's lives. Like I said, it kind of goes hand in hand because of so focused on what everyone else was doing I didn't think about myself so I have to be unbothered I have to not even care okay let's talk about relationships friendships anything that has to do with a ship at the end of it we're gonna talk about it so I am one of those people that anytime a friendship ever ended I blamed myself even if I didn't do anything wrong I would always be like what did I do wrong why are they not friends with me anymore I really cared about these things and I don't know I just I'm just one of those people who has always really put my friends first prior to now um, um, I have different friends now. My friends that I have now, they all have their own lives, okay? They cannot be bothered with what Haley is doing all the time. And same goes to me for them. And I enjoy that friendship because it allows me to focus on myself, do what I need to do, and still hang out with my friends, see my friends, spend time with my friends, and it not be an issue. Like, we're not mad at each other for not communicating 24-7. Like, it's just not like that. And I really think a lot of people are really in a place in their life because they are literally with their friends 24 7 like I do not see how that can help in any way I was that person years ago and I, I didn't do anything with my life granted I was a teenager it didn't really matter but I can only imagine like where I would be if I spent every single day of my life with my friends didn't have much of a, like uh, anything going on other than oh where are we going tonight why are we going out when are we going out what time are we going out like things like that like you need to get a life get a life get your own life focus 
on yourself and your friends will understand that they're not your friends, okay? Like they don't wanna see you doing well, sis. They just don't. And you have to understand that, realize that, know it. I know I do and my friends now, like we're all very busy, but we're gonna still get together when we get together and we talk, you know, through, you know, Instagram or text. It doesn't matter where we talk, we talk. And I think that if you're in a relationship with someone or you're in a friendship with someone and they do not, you know, they're not letting you, like letting you self improve. They are not allowing you to grow your career, your life, physically improve. Do anything that has to do with yourself. They're not your friend, okay? Like I think I read somewhere that, you know, like there are, there's, pe there's people out there who will like always tell you when you're doing something wrong but they'll never tell you when you're, when you're doing something right. Like for instance, you'll say something to your friend, like, oh, I'm gonna attend a gym next week because I, I wanna lose a couple pounds. Oh no, girl, you don't need to go to a gym. You don't need to lose weight. Or it will be something like, oh, I, I wanna learn how to speak a language. You know, I, I wanna start traveling the world. No, who, who, who talks that language? Who speaks that language? Like nobody does that. You don't need to do that. Like if, you, if that's what your friend sounds like, you don't need to be friends with that person because they do not want you to self-improve. And sometimes it can sound like they can like it almost sounds like oh they're just saying that like no like they mean it don't do that they don't want you doing that I want to be friends with someone who every time I say something that's pretty dope and like has to do with self-improvement they're like oh my god girl you should totally do it I'm so down for that I can't wait to see it happen for you things like that like that's the kind of friend that you want in your life think about your favorite and most successful entrepreneurs people that are millionaires multi you know millionaires own multiple businesses do you think that they spent every day of their life with their friends while they were growing their business and growing themselves as a person? No, they did not. And that's just the way it works, okay? Like, it's not like a dig at friends. It's just, you need to do what's best for you. See your friends occasionally, make sure you always check on them, making sure that they're okay mentally. But when it comes to like you spending your time with these people constantly, I don't understand that, okay? Like I just don't get that. And this kind of snowballs into the conversation about family. They will be the first ones to call you out when you're being selfish, okay? They know everything about you, or at least they think they do. They think they know everything about you and they probably don't because they're not paying attention to anything that you're doing for the most part. And you kind of have to distance yourself from people who just don't don't want to see you do well. They don't want to see you doing anything for yourself. You know, like the last disagreement that I had with a family member that I don't speak to anymore was about me moving out of state. And it was like, why do you want to move out of state? What do you want to do that for? That's stupid. It's like, relax. It's not a big deal. I'm allowed to move out of the state without upsetting you. And, and that's just how people are. Like, it's like so ratchet. It's so ghetto. It's like, mind your business. Like, I'm not telling you this for you to talk me out of it. I already kind of convinced myself that I was going to do that at some point. And it's just weird how people are so fixated on what you're doing to improve yourself. And it's like, if that's how somebody reacts to me wanting to move out of state, can you imagine if I was doing something wild? Like, I, I honestly couldn't even imagine. So not only do you have to remain selfish, but you have to remain unbothered. You can't let this like, you know, ruffle your feathers. I used to, I used to let everything get under my skin. I'm a cancer at heart. I'm very sensitive. It's just how I am. I'm learning not to be, not because I'm not caring. Cause I think being an empath is a huge plus in life. And I respect that about myself that I care so much, but in some ways you have to not care. Like you just have to not care, especially me being a YouTuber. If I let everything get under my skin, I don't think I could do this job. You know, people are mean on the internet. You have to learn that. And what I love about this community here on YouTube, per like particularly, is how much other women support other women doing things for themselves. Like I didn't realize how much other women want to see me do well until I started a YouTube channel. Like any time that I have something good happen to me and I share it with you guys, you guys are the first people to be like, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Even more so than some family that I have or friends. Like I honestly feel so blessed to have a platform where I can share, you know, things that go on in my life and for it to be something that our people are receptive to. Like that's incredible to me and it has made me soften up a little bit and has just made me realize that I'm going to put my energy into different things rather than putting my energy into people that don't deserve it. I'm gonna put my energy into people who do like you guys. I need lashes. I'm really liking this skin. My skin has been breaking out recently so that's not my favorite. It's probably just because I'm stressed but it's okay. I really want to try a new style of lashes but I'm scared that they're not gonna look good. I've never worn these, I don't think. Lily lashes in Miami, but everybody talks about them. And I'm like, shouldn't I wear them then? If everybody talks about them, I'm a bandwagon jumper. You know what I'm saying? 
does anyone else have like that family member who just, I don't know, never thinks that anything you do is that impressive and like always questions like your motives in life as if they've never seen you win. You can have so many winnings and they'll still not believe it. Like it's just, it's crazy. And it just shows like how you just have to really just be out for yourself. Take care of yourself. Don't become bitter. That's never a good look. Never become bitter and angry because it will just come back to you tenfold. Like I used to be someone who was bitter and angry and I'm not anymore and I find that because I'm not is the reason why I've had so many blessings because I really don't wish ill will on anyone I just don't want certain people coming it close to me to wish it on me like you could have somebody practically living with you that doesn't want you to do well you know I feel like a lot of past partners I've had were like that they just didn't want to see me do well and I know they're watching everything I'm doing literally everything and it's a cold world I'm sorry to hear it you know like they follow me I see them following me on my social media. I watch it. It's funny to me. It's like, wow, you watch all my stories. We haven't been together in like eight years. Get a grip. Okay. Like it's sad and it's embarrassing. And a lot of them have girlfriends. Yikes. Don't you guys just love putting on lashes? Like they complete an entire look. These are really nice. These Lily lashes in Miami. Hi, that just like totally made my eye look really pretty. Okay, lashes are on. We are almost done with this look. We're gonna do lips. So pretty much to sum up today's video, I know it's all over the place. I've never done a video like this before, but you really need to focus on yourself. You're gonna see such a change. It literally takes like four months, maybe not even, to do things for yourself and you're gonna see such a big change and you're gonna be so happy that you chose to be the good kind of selfish. You're gonna realize being somebody who isn't super selfish and somebody who isn't super focused on themselves that you're going to be behind. And there is no right time to start, but if you could start now, why wouldn't you, right? So that's just my advice on that. And this is coming from someone who once was very not focused on myself and very focused on everything else, everything else. Literally anything could be more appealing to me than focusing on my own life. I'm gonna try this lip gloss that you guys recommended to me for so long, which is the Rihanna Fussy. I've used every other one except for this one. I think it will go well with this look. Okay, I see why you guys recommended it. I feel like I want my lips to be bigger. Okay guys, I pretty much finished my face. This is kind of how I wear my makeup literally all the time, but I tried some new products today and I really enjoy talking to you guys about being selfish, unbothered, just being a queen, bossing up. It's time for you guys to focus on yourself. It's not worrying about what everybody else thinks of you and to just do the things that are best for you. You're gonna see a long-term effect on this and everything is just gonna come into fruition for you. You're gonna just see a lot of positivity coming your way. Okay guys, I love you so much. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram so you guys can see more of me. All right, guys. Love you. Bye. Mwah.